Hi, and welcome to the training on how to use Dubsado as a bookkeeper. So before we dive in, I just want to go through like if you're in the right place or not. Okay, so this training, we're going to talk about um, if you're a bookkeeper or an accountant, even how to automate your onboarding. I'm going to show you how to stop dead end discovery calls. And I'm going to show you how to set up a system so you can even get booked in your sleep or when you're at the grocery store or maybe at the kids' soccer game. So what you can expect to learn is I'm going to show you how to simplify your bookkeeping business and reduce, op reduce operating expenses by using one tool instead of trying to piece this whole thing together using multiple tools that then incur multiple expense lines, essentially. And that one tool we're going to use is Dubsado. I'm going to show you how to automate your entire onboarding process and say goodbye to those dead end discovery calls. So what is this dead end discovery call I'm talking about? So those are basically calls where you get on the phone and they're not a right fit. So basically you waste their time and yours by even booking the call. So before we go any further, I just want to do a quick poll. If you booked five new clients this month, would it break your business? Would it break you? Could you handle it? When I started scaling my business, it became incredibly overwhelming whenever I got a new lead because of all the tasks I had to do just to get them onboarded and get started. It got to the point where when I got a new client, I was like, oh, a new person wants to work with me. And that's a horrible feeling to have because the whole point is to grow our businesses so we can hit our goal income. So the fact that, you know, tedious manual tasks were the one thing holding me back, I knew something had to change. So I want to introduce you to overwhelmed Wilba. So she plays appointment go fish. So essentially that's where you're going back and forth with somebody either through DMs or email and you're manually setting up your appointments. She wastes time on discovery calls with people who are not a good fit for her. And then when she does book a new client, she goes back and forth, sending a bunch of emails, trying to collect all the important things she needs to be able to even get started working on that client's file. Now I want to introduce you to Loving Life Lucy, okay? So she only hops on calls with people who are pre-qualified. She has a scheduling system, so she gets booked in her sleep or when she's at the grocery store. She has an automated, she's automated her onboarding process, and she can easily onboard five new clients this month. Now, you don't have to share this, but are you an overwhelmed Wilma or are you a loving life Lucy? So like I said, when I started my business, I was definitely an overwhelmed Wilma, okay? And hopefully by the end of this training, you'll see the possibilities of how you could actually become a loving life Lucy. Creating systems in my business was the number one thing that allowed me to scale. But it wasn't just the systems that I made that had the biggest impact. It was the tools I used to automate those systems that mattered the most. So now, again, what I'm talking about is that instead of piecing all this together, using three different types of tools, using one tool that took this manual process and made it automated was the big game changer. And that tool, of course, is Dubsado. So before we go any further, let me introduce myself. Again, my name's Corinne. I'm a mom, a wife, a systems expert for bookkeepers and accountants, and I'm a certified online business manager. And brand new at the end of like 2021, 2022, we have just started offering bookkeeping services. So I'm like brand new bookkeeper. So full transparency, when I go through this, I'm gonna be, you know, I am a new bookkeeper, but we have set these systems up like inside Dubsado for over 50 clients. When I'm not helping others simplify their business, you can probably find my family and I somewhere around a campfire or traveling the country in our RV. So enough about me, let's talk about Dubsado, right? Okay, so before we go behind the scenes, I wanna give you a high level overview of how this all works together inside Dubsado. So when I get a new lead, Dubsado automatically qualifies them to be a qualified or a not qualified lead. 
if they're qualified, then I send them a call link to pop on a discovery call with me. If everything is still going smoothly, then I send them a proposal. We do the new client onboarding form, and then we go to new um, the client feedback survey. Okay. Again, the whole left side is being completely automated by Dubsado and sending out a feedback form really helps with me getting testimonials or, you know, asking how are things going with the services I'm providing. Okay, so let's look at behind the scenes inside Dubsado. So I'm gonna do a really fast overview of just Dubsado in general. And then keep in mind, this is a demo account. So some of this is gonna look a little different. I'm on the dashboard. So up top is like where your brands are. You can have multiple brands inside Dubsado. Your settings is gonna be like all of your stuff, like your, um, your address, your email address, your phone number, your brand colors. If you wanna invite team members to join your Dubsado, um, you're gonna go on here. You can see like um, the currency you're using, your time zone, all those sort of setting account things you need to set up first, okay? Underneath projects is where all of your clients or basically your projects would live, okay? So just like I showed you on that slide, when we put people through Dubsado in the onboarding workflow, they go from being a new lead to being either qualified or not a good fit. If they're qualified, they get a call invite sent. Once they've booked a call, then they go to the next step. If they don't book a call, then they're getting a follow-up basically. Then we send that proposal, we would follow up on the proposal. And then once they've signed the contract, they go to the onboarding checklist. And then once they've completed the onboarding checklist, they're now a current client that we move into ClickUp for project, like managing the client. This whole page right here too is customizable. So you can come here to customize and change all these. For reporting, the only things are you're probably gonna use are maybe the project sources and the project breakdown. A lot of this other stuff you're gonna be doing in like your accounting software. So like QBO or Xero, you're probably not gonna be using these. Now in your calendar, once you sync your calendar up and people are able to actually book you right through Dubsado. So you'll start to see all these important dates, um, uh, discovery calls you have booked will all show up on here. Tasks, like I said, I don't really use in Dubsado. I use my practice management tool for that. Tools, the big thing you're gonna be using here is maybe like the forms list or the address book. Okay, so the last thing is the templates. And this is where you're gonna be spending most of your time. So the scheduler is like what I was talking about, where instead of playing appointment go fish, okay, you can send them that new lead inquiry form, okay? Then after they have booked, like they've been qualified by that form, they then get your discovery call link, okay? After they get the discovery call, then you have a call with them, you like further prospect them, and then you send them the proposal. Once you're a current client, you can still use this to then book your appointments. You could even put like um, something in maybe like your email signature or something where if they wanna book a call with you and they're a current client, they could use this link. So here's, there's a couple of different forms in here. Again, like I said, this is a, we use this as a demo account and there's you know a lot of different reminders you could be sending. Um, the first thing though, it always starts with that new lead intake form. So this would be the one that gets embedded on your website. And you would ask them all these questions about their business. And you wanna make sure you ask the ones that matter the most to see if you would even want to get on the call with them. So maybe you're gonna ask like their, their revenue. Maybe you're gonna ask what sort of accounting software they use and just sort of like weed out those things that are like a, like a hard stop for you. Like that you're not gonna be willing to negotiate on they have to have like this or this only for you to be able to work with them. So now that they're on the phone with me and we've done the discovery call, then we're gonna be able to send them 
the services, the ongoing services proposal. And I would say a thing that people often confuse with the proposal is that it's kind of like this big bundle, okay? Where it bundles together your um, proposal, your letter of engagement, and if you want the invoice. So on ours, we you know talk about all the reasons of why we're great to work with, and then you could either offer multiple packages or you could just offer one package where you would go through like everything and, and tell them everything here on the package that you're going to include for the service. So in that proposal bundle, they'll get the letter of engagement. And since most bookkeepers use a like QBO or their basically their accounting software to send like to do the recurring billing, we put a payment authorization form at the bottom that allows us to collect all the information here and then switch over to QBO or the accounting software you're using and then set up recurring billing. So after that, like we talked about, they're gonna get the new client onboarding form. And this would be where you collect all the important information you need so that you can get going. So like you could have them send your last pass, you could enter all of their information here. We do like a drop down so you can tell them what type of bank, like what sort of password they're sharing with you. Okay, you could ask for like their EIN, all their important documents using the document uploader. Again, so you can collect everything you need up front before you do any work. Then the last thing you do is the client feedback request. So this is where you would um, put together some feedback for them basically on like asking them questions about why they decided to work with you, how things are going, um, you know, I like to add some things to mine. We're basically like, it's short and sweet. Like if you don't have a lot of time to answer these questions, what can you at least say about me or about the service you're getting? So all of this is brought together and automated with these forms, okay? Using all of your canned emails. So canned emails, I separate out by like the type of thing we're doing. And that's what makes it like, we keep track of all these by setting up packages and then with your workflows. So I like to name my workflows of what's happening. So like this is the new inquiry, now qualified workflow. And then this is the new inquiry qualified workflow. And then by creating all these workflows, all you have to do really for the project Okay, is coming here to the workflow. And apply it, All right? I use six different workflows and that's really just because I have a call in between these. So I can't, you know, depending on how you work your business, I, I don't know the outcome of that call. So I separate these out so that I can say like, okay, this was a new lead. We did the discovery call, they're not moving forward. And then I can tell the tell Dubsado what to do based on the information, like based on how the call went essentially, okay? So um, this one, yeah. So this is the discovery call not moving forward. All right, so it's workflows that take basically all of that stuff, all of the, all of the forms, all of the puzzle pieces and they put it all together to make it automated. And this is where the, like, the magic really happened for me when I was scaling my business. Okay, so again, I hope this training was helpful and I hope that you can see the possibilities from this training of how you go from overwhelmed Wilma to Loving Life Lucy. And if you have any questions, please let me know.